Hey, Tubies! <laughs> this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with all of you. Why well, I tell you, I'm here and I'm going to talk about a controversial subject. And you're going to say, oh, what? Psyche Bob? Controversial? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today we're going to talk about the mystical Ouija board. i turn it this way so you can see it. Whoop, there goes my planchette. This is the Ouija board, and some of you have written to me over the last few years and said, Psyche Bob, I saw a video of you using the Ouija board. I don't think you should do that. That's bad. That's dangerous. I've had churches call me and tell me I'm demon-possessed. I've had all sort of craziness. I've had a few people call and say, right on, Ouija board's cool. Anyways, if you're in the crowd that has a little concern about the Ouija board or fear, I thought today we'd do a video just to kind of touch in on what the Ouija board is and how to use it so it's not dangerous, okay? Now, let me show you here. This is uh, the Ouija board here. It has two parts. It has the board and it has the planchette. And the Ouija board as it exists today originated in 1891, and it was uh, created by a spiritualist named William Fold. And in fact, if you get the older Ouija boards, this one is from the 70s. I don't know if it's on the new ones. You'll see up at the top it says William Fold, uh, Talking Spirit. Talk, what was I can't see it. Talking Board Set. Uh, it was actually called the Talking Board, or it's nowadays called a Spirit Board or Ouija. And the term Ouija is made of two words, German and French, French and German. We is French for yes, and ya is German. So it means yes, yes. So it implies a conversation back and forth. Um, and as you see on the Ouija board, it's made with, um, we've got uh, the whole alphabet here. We've got numbers, we've got goodbye, we've got yes and no, we've got the sun and the moon. And I love these pictures. Nobody ever talks about down here. It's little pictures of people holding a seance. See, they're working at the Ouija and see the spirit head floating, talking to the people. And then over here is the same picture. So you got spirit influence. Actually, I think that's a spirit. The lady's a spirit. And the man, see, they're reaching over, sending power and guiding the Ouija planchette. I just think that's kind of cool. So I'm a big fan of the Ouija board. And the, the pointer on is called the planchette. That's a French word. It means floor. Uh, planchette is something that goes around the floor because it's like a base, like a floor. In the old days, in the ancient Greek days, what they used to do is they would have um, a room, literally, and they would have letters and numbers on the floor. And then they would have a giant pendulum that would swing back and forth over the floor. That's where the term planchette came from. Uh, that was the ancient Greek ways. But in the Victorian times, they came up with a much more efficient way of using what we call now called the, the Ouija board, or uh, there are various versions of it called the spirit board, spirit board. So Ouija board's the most famous, and that's the one I just like because that's the one I grew up with. So there are newer ones, as I said, on the market. Now, Let's talk about the controversy of the Ouija board. A lot of people are saying, Psyche Bob, it's really dangerous. You shouldn't do it. Well, first of all, let me, let's me let just break this down. Just look at it. Is there anything really dangerous? It's a board and it's a planchette. Okay. You'll say, oh, but evil spirits, you know, will take over the board. I've heard that. Well, I want you guys to look, uh, look around your house. Do you have a cell phone? Take a cell phone. Now. You got a cell phone in your pocket? All right, I want you to take out and look at your cell phone right now. Now, is your cell phone evil? I said no. See, cell phone is a neutral device, just like the Ouija board is a neutral device. With a cell phone, you can pick up your cell phone and you can call your mom and dad, say, Mom, Dad, I love you, and bring a lot of joy and happiness. Or you can pick up the cell phone and do something terrible, like call somebody up and scream at them or you know, do a, uh, you know, prank call and hurt people's feelings. Is the phone evil? No. The phone is a neutral device. The person operating it decides whether it's going to be used for good or for evil. And that's how the Ouija board is. I can sit and I can conjure demons and have them come through and wreak havoc. Or I can work with God and the angels and the guys and I can open that channel with the Ouija board and do good. If any of you have been watching me, if you go back over the years, you'll see that when I worked with the Ouija board, 
Most of my work has been spirit rescue work. And this is one way to use the Ouija board. Um, because the earthbound souls, their vibration is very dense. They're close to the physical realm. It's easier for them to impress their influence on a physical object. And this is why uh, many mediums have success working with earthbound souls with the Ouija board because it's easier for them to get into the vibration. You see, higher spirits, the more evolved souls, don't really need the Ouija board. This is why you see when I channel, like for example, Rose comes right through. But when I first encountered Rose, she did work through the Ouija board. But as she's evolved and moved out of purgatory to the higher realms, now she doesn't need the Ouija board. She can channel through. So the Ouija board is kind of a stepping stone for many spirits as they learn to interact back with our world and create um, a connection. Okay, so this is why I say the Ouija board itself is not evil. It is simply a device. Uh, how you choose to you choose to use it will determine whether it is good or evil. Now, um, if you want to learn how to use the Ouija board, I would encourage you to check out my book Ouija Mysteries. Uh, I have an appendix in the back that teaches exactly how to use. The Ouija board safely and I'm not going to read the whole thing now but there are just a few things that I will we'll touch in from this one of the things that you want to do is I would encourage you you know before you start a Ouija session just pray make sure you're centered make sure you're at peace if you're feeling all emotionally distraught and you've had a horrible day probably not the best day to mess with the Ouija board use the Ouija board when you're feeling relaxed you're peaceful and you're open to communications then you'll get much better results. I would encourage you also maybe perhaps put a candle, a white candle on your table. White candles tend to raise the vibration and they help soothe the souls that come through. If you have a troubled soul, the white light of the candle uplifts its spirit. And the white light is a shield against evil forces. Uh, because you know, as I said, in the spirit world, when you open the door, it's like walking out of your house. When you go out on the street, there are good people and there are bad people. Same thing with the spirit world, good people and bad people. So you want to always be shielded, surround yourself with prayer and the white light, and then you open your channel. And I think we're actually going to do a Ouija session next week. Probably, I think we'll do it next Maybe we can do it on um, next Monday, or sun, maybe Sunday or Monday. Let me see what my schedule's like. We're going to do it on Monday. Fletcher said Monday. It's the day of the moon. <laughs> okay, my spirit guide just popped in here. So on Monday, we'll do a Ouija board session next Monday. Um, but for now, just know that the Ouija board uh, is to help you connect. It's simply a tool simply a device. Now, in addition to the white candle, I would also encourage you to have a bowl of water on your table. Water helps raise the vibration also and facilitates spirit activity. Um, do your seance preferably in dimmer lighting. Many of the spirits that come through are very light sensitive because their energy forms, their bodies are made of ectoplasm. And ectoplasm is photosensitive, which means that light affects it in a negative way, it breaks it down. So you want to use maybe a softer, I usually do my Ouija board seances by candlelight. So just a gentle room, dark room with maybe one candle going, some water on the table, some incense, uh, white candles, and your Ouija board. And you can really set the scene and start to open the door between the worlds. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to come here. I would encourage you, as I said, pick up a copy of Ouija Mysteries. This tells about my work with the Ouija board uh, seances. And uh, I'll read here on the back cover. It says, uh, what are the mysteries that, that exist in the Ouija board? Can the spirits of the dead really return and bring us messages? Join renowned psychic medium Bob Hickman at his seance table as he explores the mysteries of the Ouija board. This book will let you sit in on the seance sessions as they actually happen. An exciting book that you will not want to put down. So anyways, yeah, check this book out. Um, tell me in the box below, have you ever used a Ouija board? What's been your experience? Maybe you had a good experience, maybe you had a bad experience. Um, tell me about it. And if you've had a bad experience, you know, think about how long ago it was because maybe you've evolved as a person and you may have a better experience. And if you enter into your communications 
with the Ouija board, with a positive frame of mind, seeking the highest and the best, you will get that. Because, you know, in the spiritualist movement, we say like attracts like. So if you start from a good place, you're going to draw good to you. Okay, and you can do wonderful, wonderful work with the Ouija board. Anyways, guys, just want to touch in here, give you a little uh, showing here of my Ouija board, and uh, tell me about your experiences. Next week, we will hold next Monday a Ouija board seance, so you don't want to miss that. Be back here. Anyways, this is Bob Hickman. I'm so glad to be here with you. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. Tomorrow on Tuesday, we're going to have another Psychic Bob Spirit Spell video and you don't want to miss that so be here we're going to touch in on some magic thanks for being here guys listen like this favorite share it with your friends tell them about you know spirit channel get them to join hit that subscribe be part of our community we'd love you to be here and definitely keep watching we got videos all week and next monday ouija board seance blessings to you